Hey, what am I doing back in Glitter Gulch Mine? Well, this, of course. Because now I can finally use the springy shoes. So, I can get this. Which is the last Jiggy of the level. And I think I might actually have the volume too low on this one. I always have, I'm always battling with the volume in this game. And I'm hoping that it's not going to give me any glitchiness, since I was able to save it properly and all that stuff. Anyways, um, I'm just going to go ahead and take the train here. I think it might be slightly faster than leaving the level and going to Clifftop and calling the train. Actually, it probably isn't. But it doesn't really matter. Assuming the game doesn't crash because I'm speeding up these transition scenes, it should be fine. And I haven't actually ridden the train before, that I recall. You just sort of step on this switch, and you choose where to go to. I'm going to go to the Isle of Hags, because we need to take the dinosaur to the doctor, and then it's like, which doctor? Doesn't matter which one, but yeah, that's a hint that you have to take it to Mumbo. Actually, I think the signpost and the, like, carriage thing in the back says basically the same thing, too. So, let's take Mumbo and his time and space transcending skulls that he is in all of and none of at the same time. Or maybe just all of. Take him for a quick spin. Do everything sped up. I don't know why I'm doing it sped up, because I'm not really in a hurry here, because I'm trying to actually delay as much as possible so that Jordan can be here for fighting Terry. I think I might, like, have him fight it, because it's a pretty easy boss. Oops, I said the name of the boss. It was such a big mystery. So yeah, that's all he's got to do here. It's... I don't know. He has a part in one-third of a quest for another level. He's kind of been relegated to, uh, bit rolls here. Okay, so let's drive it back to Pterodactyland. Finishing off, or, I mean, going back to, uh, where I finished off last time. And there we go. Two of your childs are now fine. I think he got sick from eating, uh, if you talk to him, he said, like, maybe I shouldn't have eaten that pile of dung. Uh, did it freeze? I believe it did. Well then, time to redo this then. And if we're lucky, it won't crash again. I think it's something with the train. It seems to mostly do it with that, but it's done it at other times too, so... I don't know, it's probably because I speed it up so freaking much. But I would still rather not have to stop doing that. Anyway, uh, you're probably confused about where I am because of all the moving around and skipping and stuff. Uh, this is back at the, ex the entrance to the level. And so the only place on like the ground level I haven't checked is over here. And there's, uh, just basically one little thing you can do here, that's about it. Then after that, I guess I'll be heading into the... Well, I'll, I'll not, I'm not gonna say what it is, whatever, I'll just get to it when I do it. So, let's take this thing around and see what we can discover. Uh, this is up on a higher ledge. I'd rather check each hole systematically. You can't make that into a dirty joke. I, I'm, someone will try to, but it, it's a real stretch. Same with that. Pretty much anything that anybody ever says can be a dirty joke if you look at it the wrong way. I don't know. I'm just getting paranoid because people keep thinking that I'm saying these things and meaning them. Uh, come on. Give me something. Uh, okay, there's the Jinjo. I'll take that. And I think that was the last one down here, so... I have to head back to one of the ones that I previously entered. If I'm going to get to that rock nut in time.
which I won't. Let's just hope for the best here. Uh, I have no idea where I'm going. Okay, I got lucky with this. Let's blow them up. And that's all that's here. Uh, the other holes just loop around, basically. There's the rock nut in there, there's the Jinjo, and that should be it. And then, uh, that's the Stericosaurus cave. I think I've been in most of the caves littered about. That's the train station right there. I'm trying. I'm saying this not only to inform people, but to keep myself aware of my surroundings. Uh, ah, yes, the Oogle Boogle Cave. He won't let you in because the Ungabungas are jerks, basically. Sharing is bad. I don't know about sharing. Trading is definitely bad. Sharing's only bad when I have to do it because I have to share everything that I own with annoying, ungrateful children. And then they lose and or break everything. Anyway, um, let's not fall off this time. This would be the Ungabunga Cave. I'll head in there in a minute. Uh, oh, I was already over here. That's like the pool. The ammonites in it. Just want to get these notes and whatnot. This level is cool looking. And there, there's nothing particularly bad about it, it just kind of gets annoying to navigate. It's a bit... Well, it's a lot on the large side, as I've already mentioned. And there's just lots of caves and stuff, it's easy to get lost. Anyway, uh, this tunnel here has another rock nut in it, so you gotta use one of these guys and... Die. Nice. Let's fart it out for good measure. And hopefully that won't happen again, because I'm running low on these. Need to restock them. And the nests only give you one when, they, uh, when you pick it up, so it takes a while to get more. Anyway, send them around. Back end, and we get to do this again. Oh, and that was the last one. I didn't realize that. I thought there was another one somewhere. Shiny rock. And there's a... Uh, I passed a Jiggy, and I didn't comment on it. It was behind a uh, cage of some variety. I'll get to that one soon enough. And over there is Wumba's Wigwam, I'm pretty sure, so... Let's just go in here. I was gonna do Wumba this time, but... Oh, there's another dirty joke. I said do Wumba. Shut up. But yeah, I think I have enough other crap to do here. Back in Ungabunga's cave, you'll remember this from uh, Mayahem Temple. Can't learn that move yet, so not gonna bother talking to him. And I think I could have gotten into this room before. Ooh, here's my chance to rest. Hey, hey, none of that. Uh, there's a red crack in the wall. Hard to notice. Can't make any use of that yet. But it's time for Kazooie to learn a new and situational move. Kind of like Taxi Pack. Maybe he'll actually explain how to use this one instead of making you guess. Can't believe that you're a bird. Who can't hatch it? It's absurd. So hold on. Okay, yeah, it does. Yeah, on the last for the Taxi Pack, I wasn't actually sure if he told you or not. And then looking back at it, I realized he didn't. So you either have to guess or. Uh, talk to him again, and then he'll probably say it. It's weird that they left it out of the song, though. Must have been, like, hard to rhyme, I guess. Anyway, the hatch move, uh, just basically does this. You sit down, and if you happen to be on an egg at the time, or an alien, then you will hatch and or warm it up. And this should lead back to the treasure chamber, right? Yeah, you remember this place. Then there should be uh, another way out, but it is blocked by a gate, so... I have to take the other entrance into the cave. So that calls for the speed up button. Or I could just off-screen it, but uh, I'm lazy. How do I get out of here? 
How do I not get killed by the stupid beehive? Uh, going this way, I guess. Oh, wait, no, 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 don't, 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 don't. Fail! Uh, well, let's just wander around loudly, that works. Whatever, time's almost up anyway, but I'll see if I can at least get to the cave for next time. I should probably heal. Oh, here's a skill stop, honeycomb. I haven't gotten one of those yet. It's basically the random stop, but it isn't random. Dinosaur, go away. That was exciting. Anyways, yeah, I'm out of time, so... I'll just get to the other, en the other cave entrance for next time. And we will finish up that, and then we will do some Wumba stuff.